Hello, my name is Vlad and today we're going to talk about momentum. Is it harder to stop a bullet or a truck traveling along the road? Are they as difficult to stop as each other? Well, the bullet is hard to stop because it's traveling very fast, whereas the truck is hard to stop because it's really heavy, it has a very large mass. It makes sense to assume that a bullet traveling twice as fast would be twice as hard to stop, and a truck twice the mass would be twice as hard to stop. Ta -da -da -da. Momentum is a useful quantity when speaking about the unstoppability of the object. Momentum is defined as mass times velocity. P equals mv. Since mass is measured in kilograms and velocity in meters per second, it makes sense to assume that momentum is measured in kilograms meters per second. Let's find the momentum of this truck. So, Momentum is equal mass times velocity, so the momentum of the truck. Mass 20,000 times 6 is 120,000 kilogram meters per second. Now the momentum of the bullet. So velocity 400 times mass. It's 9 grams, so it's 0 0.009 kilograms, 3.6 kilogram meters per second. Well, seems to me that the truck is much harder to stop than the bullet. The law of conservation of momentum states, in an isolated system, in a system with no external forces, the total momentum remains constant. In other words, the total momentum of the bodies before the interaction is equal to the total momentum of the bodies after the interaction. A simple example. So, a car traveling at 5 meters per second hits a stationary truck of mass 2000 kilograms. They stick together and move as one whole thing after the collision. Now, we need to calculate the momentum before the collision and momentum after the collision. So momentum before it's equal to the momentum of the car, which is 5 times 1000, 5 times 1000, plus the momentum of the truck. But the truck is stationary, so its velocity is 0, which means the momentum is 0. So it's 0 times 2000 so it's 5000 kilogram meters per second now the total momentum after the collision their combined mass is 3000 kilograms and they are moving with velocity u, which we do not know. We need to find it. So 3000 multiplied by u. And since the law of conservation of momentum states that the momentum before is equal to the momentum after, 5000 must be equal to 3000 times u. So 3000 times u is equal to 5000. So the combined velocity of the car and the truck together after the collision is 1.67 meters per second. Another example. Snoopy, mass 10 kilograms, is running with a speed of 4.5 meters per second and jumps on a skateboard which is moving in the opposite direction with a velocity of 7 meters per second and has a mass of 4 kilograms. So once again, using the conservation of momentum, we need to calculate the final velocity of Snoopy on the skateboard. So, momentum before is equal to mass of Snoopy times his velocity is 10 times 4.5 which is 45 kilogram meters per second 
Now, the, this is the momentum of Snoopy. Now we need the momentum of the skateboard. But since the skateboard is moving in the opposite direction and momentum is a vector, so we must consider this by writing minus 28, which is 4 times 7, kilogram meters per second. So the total momentum before the collision is equal to 17 kilogram meters per second. Momentum after the collision is equal to mass times velocity. The combined mass of Snoopy and the skateboard is 14 kilograms, so it's 14 multiplied by the velocity, which is u, 14 u. So since the momentum before is equal to the momentum after, we can write 14 u is equal to 17. So the combined velocity of Snoopy and the skateboard after he jumps on it is equal to 17 divided by 14. It's 1.21 meters per second. So, this is how you can use the conservation of momentum to solve problems involving collisions, explosions, or Snoopy on a skateboard. And that's what I wanted to tell you about momentum. Thank you, goodbye.